What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Atlian here. Today we're going to be talking about the monocle and why you should be using it. So here we are right now in my um, little torture room getting this guy going. In this box here I have my monocle, monocular. There we go. So you equip it right there. The reason why this is so important is with your recruit skill, you'll be able to use it and view more information about the people you're trying to subdue. So. Once you get up to a certain level, I would say Perceptive I3 is pretty good. Um, Perceptive I2 is just weaknesses, which really is eh. Um, but three and four, when you can identify his quality, that's the big one. So at 600 recruit, you're definitely gonna wanna be carrying this around when you're looking for people. It makes your life much easier rather than just randomly guessing which is a good one or not. So you can see here, I got the monocular out. I hold left click. Oh, there we go. It's gonna start identifying. And then it brings up all of his stats, what he's weak to, what his quality is, everything right here. So when you're in a bandit camp, you can just, you know, take your monocle out, look at a warrior, figure out, okay, this is an orange quality. I'm going to take him back. This is a white, a, a blue, a green, anything. Um, obviously, you want to go for those oranges. So you can see right here next to his graph underneath it, it's got the orange quality. All of his stats are pretty high for what it is. He's actually better than my other orange guy. So... That's why I'm working on getting him worked out here. Um, the only other issue with this is you're going to have to get your recruit skill because you can see he's level 59. To get a 59 recruited, you're going to need 675 recruit at a, um, I think this was at 525, you can do level 55 and below. Um, but 675 is what you're going to be aiming for to get level 60s and below. So definitely bring out the monocle um, I'm gonna test it on more things it says that it's only usable on warriors but I have yet to test it on like horses and rhinos and stuff like that so I'll definitely have an updated video for you guys once I figure that out but aside from that definitely want to get it out for subduing warriors and trying to find the best possible one so you don't waste your time just with the RNG so hope you guys enjoyed I hope this video was helpful and I'll catch y'all in the next video Hello. Hello.